Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Trailmakers, and we are back playing with the submarine update. And rumor has it that there is more to be discovered in the ocean. I hear rumors of whales, giant whales, out on the open ocean somewhere. Uh, so last time we built this submarine, which is kind of slow and clunky and very, like, bulky. So I'm thinking for this episode, let's actually try to make a submarine airplane so we can freely transition from ocean to air to ocean to air and that'll allow us to explore much more efficiently much more quickly because we can go across the land or over the land rather and we can go underneath the water and we can probably find some of these whales which i don't know how hard they are to find they might they might actually not be that hard to find but i haven't seen any yet i thought we discovered everything when it came to these um these archways and these fish and rocks and stuff down here but no i want to see some of these whales but i also want a versatile air water creation because i'm loving this new submarine update and a lot of your comments uh, a lot of you were saying that you want to see a submarine that can fly so let's do that but uh, i'm actually just going to delete this thing first because uh that's old news it's old news if you want to see that video if you haven't seen it go check that out but um on to the future of flying submarines so I'm not entirely sure the best way to do this. I want it to be fast underwater, and I'm pretty sure that a single underwater propeller does not give it nearly as much speed as a single thruster does in the air, just because there's less air resistance than there is water resistance, which makes sense. So I think we're going to have to need more underwater propellers than we need thrusters. But that's also going to weigh us down a lot more, because how much do these things weigh? Only 12.5 kilograms, as opposed to a thruster, which is 30 kilograms, so it's less than half the weight. Okay, that might not be too bad then. We might be able to do this. All right, so anyway, I'm going to start with the seat first, obviously. I think that's just the best way to start things off. And since we're going to be a flying creation, I think to make it more stable in the air, we definitely want our weight to be more towards the front of our vehicle. So it might actually be, the best idea might be to attach the thrusters to the front of the vehicle here. So this might be a good start. Right here might be a good start. And I don't think I'm gonna use any of the BCDs uh, because I'm gonna design this thing for agility and speed. I don't really think we're gonna have to raise and lower ourselves underwater. We're just gonna fly all around everywhere. But the question now becomes how to organize our underwater propellers and then our wing placement for our center of lift. Gonna move these back by one so we can add some aerodynamics onto the front here. There we go. So this should help us with some flying and underwater. I don't know if... Does the aerodynamics affect our speed underwater? I'm assuming it does. It's gonna push the water out of the way, but hopefully this will help us here. So I'm gonna try not to make this thing too bulky. So instead of using like these blocks here, I'm actually gonna use some of the grid blocks because they're lighter. They take up less space. All right, I gotta be honest. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. I'm just putting some stuff down. So I'm gonna add some wings onto this thing now. So I'm gonna use, I like these, these wings look really awesome. I just, I really like the way these, these things look. So we're gonna put them right here in kind of like the middle. Right now we have two of these jet engines and we have four of these underwater propulsion engines. And I'm a little bit concerned right now that we're gonna be too heavy for the jet engines to really do anything. So I'm gonna use this as our only propulsion so far. And we're just gonna build the aerodynamics of the vehicle with the wings and the lift um, on top of this. And we're not gonna add any more propulsion and we're gonna hope that these jets are gonna cover us. But I think I'm going to have to move these back a little bit because I feel like our center of mass is way too far forward. So let's just put these like right here. Hopefully this is going to help. And now we just need to pretty much make a tail fin, right? All right. So let's see if this works. I don't actually have any rudder control or aileron control or anything. I'm going to hope that the tilting of the seat will be enough since we don't have too much on this thing. But this thing is going to sink like a rock. Is Oh, no. <gasps> I didn't think about trying to get into the vehicle. <laughs> Hopefully we can take it. All right, here we go. All right, let's, ooh, ooh, we actually, we, we are facing up in the air when we do this. So let's hope we can take off. Come on, take off. Oh no, we're going straight into the tree. All right, uh, we might have an issue here. We might have an issue here of trying to take the take off in this thing. All right, now we're facing kind of towards the water. We might hit that ramp there, but I think the issue that I'm having right now is we might be way too front heavy. Oh, <laughs> dang it. All right, we're good. I think we're good. We're gonna get into the water. All right, here we are. We're underwater and 
we're just completely we're just like an anchor right on the front of us so we're definitely gonna have to add um either some lift on the front or maybe we just gotta center our center of mass a little bit more all right guys i think we're onto something check it out Okay, so we have okay roll, but our pitch is pretty much non-existent. So what I'm gonna have to do, I think, is... Uh, well, let's see how we go underwater first. I did not expect that. All right, I had to get rid of my big tail fin because it was gonna interfere with these things. But let's hope that this actually works now. Oh, that's interesting. Whoa, what? Okay, that's not exactly the result I expected. But hey, we have pitch now, don't we? Now the question is... Can we fly? Hey, this is not half bad. Whoa, that's a lot of pitch though. That is a lot of pitch. It might be too much. We might actually have to uh, adjust. Whoa, why are we going sideways like that? This is interesting. We have a tendency to like drift hard and I think that's because we don't have a big enough tail fin look at this whoa we had a combined thruster and propeller thing there because one of our one of our thrusters was on top of the water but two of our propellers were below the water so they were combining into their overall thrust that was pretty cool but this seems to not stay straight all right, here we go. We got a new design here. Let's see if this design works any better. Okay. Okay, uh, okay, uh, okay. Why am I tilting to the right constantly? Oh, okay, all right, we're good now. I mean, we don't seem to have the drifting problem yet, except we have a weird tilting problem. Okay, maybe my front, those tail fin, or those fins on the front of my, uh, my seat there, on the top and bottom, they might have an issue, they, they might be contributing to the issue here. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, there's something weird going on here, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attribute it to those things, because those are kind of like the experimental aesthetic thing that I kind of put there. So let's get rid of that. Oh, we have no roll underwater. We have no turning underwater here. We might have to adjust that. All right, fine tuning is in order. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I've done a lot of fine tuning and testing, and I think I have something that I'm pretty happy with. So I don't know why it's making this noise. J just ignore that. So I've added a lot more underwater propulsion to this thing. So we're a lot faster underwater. We're also a lot more agile because I've added some roll mechanics like this. So we can roll left and right. Um, using those losing those wings on the side. Uh, we also have our pitch and We got some aerodynamics on this thing as well and You actually be surprised at how how vital those spoilers are on the sides there in the back They actually keep us so we can fly level without our nose Just like the note the weight in the front is tipping us down constantly So that helps out a lot. So I think we have some decent control so I'm going to show you guys what it's like in the air. We're going to go down in the ocean. I'm going to show you guys what it's like in the ocean. The transition's a little rocky. And then we're going to see if we can find some of these whales. I haven't actually seen any in my testing yet. So let's go ahead and... Come on. <laughs> this isn't a land vehicle. I'll tell you that right now. This is not... This is not a land vehicle at all. I mean, I could just add some wheels maybe, but that would mess up all the weight fine-tuning that I've just done. But anyway, once we get into the water, we should be good. There we go. Look at that. We just bounced right off the water. Anyway, so you can see that we're flying pretty straight. I mean, we have like a slight down... Actually, you know what? No, we're flying straight. Yeah, we're flying pretty straight. I'm not pressing any of my uh, pitch controls. It's just doing this all this naturally. All right, so now we're going to be doing some pitch. We can pitch down. We can pitch up. We can roll. Like, we've got a decent amount of control here. So now... Let's go ahead and transition down into the water. And... Oh, oh, you saw it? We, it like it, it, it jitters a little bit when we transition to the water at high speed. But you can see now our underwater speed is actually pretty decent, and our underwater control is all right. The only thing is we don't have any yaw underwater, which is okay because we can just do the whole tilt and pitch thing, tilt and pitch to turn. But now, um, I don't know where these whales are. I'm hoping that they are, are actually in sandbox mode. What if they're, like, not in sandbox? What if they're in, like, race island mode or something? 
Well, let's uh, fly over the water. I don't know how far out we have to go, if we even have to go very far out. You know what? Maybe they're in between... Oh, wait. Oh, I think I found them. I think I found them. We're a member of the family. Look at this. Oh, oh, they actually have collisions. Okay, these are cool looking whales. We should try to like build one. Should we try to build one of these whales? They're like a, a, a alien sperm whale. They have kind of like the head of a sperm whale, but then they have these like extra fins going. Oh, sorry, sorry, but oh, so I'm sorry. Like, they should be more protective. They should be more protective of their young. <laughs> Oh, this is super cool. We found them. I actually wasn't expecting to. Let's try to look at their face. Ooh, they looks like it looks like these things are actually built to be battering rams. They have like a a type of like protective shielding. Oh, I lost something. What did I lose? I lost some pieces. Here, let's repair. It looks like they have some type of protective shielding on the front of the oh, that that's not good. On the front of their heads. I'm trying to get a good view. It's really hard to control myself while looking backwards. Come on. Uh, there we go. This thing's actually easier to control in the air than in the water, surprisingly. All right, here they go. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a, it's like a hard shell on their heads. Maybe these things have like rammed boats. I wonder if they'll do that. I wonder if you have like a boat floating on the water. How, how far below the surface are they? If you have like a boat on the water up here, will they just swim into you, do you think? They probably would. It looks like they're just on a defined path. They don't really have any um, any environmental response or reaction to the environment. Oop, oop, got, oop, there's my vehicle. Come back, come back vehicle. No, let me, I need to get inside, please. Just let me get, get in, there we go. But, uh, all right, so we've seen the whales. Let's just do some, a little bit of stunt flying if we can. All right, so let's go under this bridge. I don't know if these pillars have collisions yet anymore because they didn't a while ago, but we flew through them anyway. And now let's see. Oh, this is going to be tough. Oh, oh, that was actually pretty good. I thought we were going to lose it in there, but this thing's actually pretty stable. All right, so now um, I guess we'll have to do some underwater stunt flying or stunt swimming rather. Go through some of these caves. All right, is there a cave right here? Looks like there's a cave right here. Let's go ahead and go down in here. Uh, oh, this is a small cave. This actually might be kind of hard. Oh, wait, this is a whole like, this isn't just like an archway. This is like an actual cave system here. Yeah, see, underwater is much more difficult for some reason. All right, there we go. A lot less graceful underwater and I don't know, really know why. <laughs> All right, then we have some, um, some more archways over here. Actually, let's go around here. We can curve back this way and we can try to get like a row of them like a couple of them in a row Which I don't know if it's gonna happen. Okay. Oh, 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 we're hitting the ground uh, We're so bad underwater. Why are we so bad underwater? It's the same controls I don't know why it's so much harder underwater for some reason Okay, that felt good that felt really smooth. All right, let's go do that tiny one there Little tiny one I wonder, is this just those, is it that one group of whales, or do you think there's a couple of them? Do you think there's a couple of families? I actually want to, I want to figure this out now. It seems like they might be circling the entire island. Do you think, oh, here they are, here they are. All right, so we got these guys right here. So let's go ahead of them and see if we can find another family, or are we just going to run into that one family of whales? All right, we've just literally circled the entire island right back to this one and only family of whales. So yeah, it's just this one little group. So it's actually, it takes a little bit of searching to find them or you just wait, but they're really slow because we're, they haven't gone that far in the time that it took us to circle the entire island. So let me know what you guys think of uh, this flying submarine. I mean, we did it. It's a mission success, I would say. I mean, it's pretty nimble. It's pretty agile. Look at these. Look at these aileron rolls that we're doing here. All right, can we fly upside down? Oh, uh, flying upside down is a little hard. Hold on, I think I need more air. 
so I can better prepare myself and control myself and adjust. Especially with those, actually the issue might be those spoilers. Might not let us to keep our nose up. Oh, here we go. We're upside, we're upside down now. Oh yeah, but we don't really have much pitch control when we're upside down. If I let go of my pitch, I just, uh, whoa, that was weird. Huh. Well, we're doing it. We're flying upside down. It actually kind of looks cool upside down too with the way that the uh, those angle blocks are because those are on the bottom originally. No problem. We got it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to say this was a mission success. Let me know what your favorite part of the episode was and let me know what other suggestions you guys have down in the comments for what you want to see in the submarine update you guys asked for a flying submarine that can fly and go into dive into the water and look what you got this is what you get you asked for it you get it so what do you guys want to see next anyway this has been Scrapman, and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>